Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning. Welcome to another week here in drone industry land. I have three stories to share with you today and I'm going to jump right in. NASA is partnering with drone delivery company Zipline under the Space Act Agreement. And uh, no, this doesn't mean NASA wants to offer drone delivery solutions in space. They want to learn more about the management of autonomous vehicles. Uh, this is an interesting partnership where, uh, on the one hand, NASA can benefit from everything uh, Zipline has learned, the technology they have built to manage their fleet of autonomous delivery drones, which they've deployed in Africa for many years. Uh, now they're conducting operations here in the U.S. So NASA can benefit from all this operational knowledge. And then on the other hand, you have Zipline coming in and they're able to leverage uh, NASA's tools, research, and network to expand their own delivery fleet operations here in the United States. So great partnership. Uh, congrats to both NASA and Zipline. Next up, a story for those of you interested in privacy and how that relates to flying drones. A court case found that the FAA's remote ID rule does not violate a U.S. citizen's right to privacy under the Fourth Amendment. The ruling was made in a case brought by a drone pilot named Tyler Brennan, who owns a drone reseller company named Race Day Quads. Last year, Brennan sued the FAA over its remote ID rule. He claimed that it violated his right to privacy by making him the subject of constant warrantless governmental surveillance in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Um, in their decision, the three-judge panel found that the rule doesn't violate Brennan's right to privacy because drones are always flown in public. Uh, the judges elaborated a bit on this, saying, quote, it is hard to see what could be private about flying a drone in the open air. Activities that require privacy are not typically conducted aloft. Uh, in contrast to how we use our homes, cars, and cell phones, people do not ordinarily live in or store private objects or information uh, in their drones, quote. Um, do you agree with the court's ruling and uh, reasoning? Uh, let us know in the comments. Lastly, the world's first delivery by the U.S. Postal Service to a drone mailbox was made on Monday. The smart mailbox you're seeing was created by Drone Deck, a company focused on making climate-controlled containers for drone deliveries. Uh, in addition to the drone delivering USPS mail, it also delivered a meal from McDonald's. Uh, yay to the golden arches. The Drone Deck mailbox was able to keep it warm until it was taken inside for lunch. These deliveries took place in Lawrence, Indiana, uh, just northeast of Indianapolis, where Drone Deck is piloting these delivery tests. Uh, currently, there are four of these uh, Drone Deck mailboxes being tested. All right, folks, that's all we have for this week. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on the latest drone news. Remember to check out the links below to read more. Thanks for uh, watching and as always to all of you drone pilots out there, blue skies and safe flying.